Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the JS1175 compressor in Reaper. The JS1175 compressor is based on a very simple compressor design like the Universal Audio 1176 compressor, which is one of the most classic compressors ever built. Great for any source for controlling dynamics in our mixes. The 1175 compressor was designed by Stillwell, who also designed the Rocket compressor, which is very similar, except it has a nicer graphic interface, an extra parameter, and auto makeup gain. So if you prefer this plugin, you can get it for a reduced price right down here. Otherwise, you can use this free version that comes with Reaper, the JS1175 compressor. So let's see how it sounds on drums. I have a drum project set up here with a kick, a snare, overheads, and room mics. Let's hear how it sounds now. Let's start out with the snare. Let's solo it and go to the track effects on this track. Go to the filter and search 1175. And it shows up right here. Double click it. And it looks like this. With the threshold setting, the ratio, which also includes the all button, which is all four buttons pushed down on the original 1176 compressor which creates a super compressed sound. Then we have the gain or makeup gain, the attack and release, and the mix knob to create parallel compression, and a meter down here to see how much gain we're reducing. I like to start with the attack a bit slower so the transients can get through. Then we'll bring down the threshold to create some gain reduction or compression. With a slow attack, the compressor takes longer to respond. And with a quicker attack, the gain reduction happens right away. And the release decides how quickly the gain reduction goes back to normal. So we can make it really fast or really slow. And we can see the release on the meter. Let's make it faster. Notice how it adds a crack to the snare when you get the attack and release just right. Let's hear it with the rest of the drums. Now let's try compressing the kick. Go to the track effects, double click the plugin, give it a slow attack. A faster release. It makes the kick hits sound more even, and if we adjust the mix, we can make the sound sound more subtle as we blend the compressed sound with the dry. Let's hear it with the other drums. Now I don't usually 
for compression on the overheads, but I always do on the rooms. Double click it, and let's bring down the threshold. Notice how dramatic it sounds. Now hear the difference when we make the release as fast as possible. And now slower. Let's hear that in the track. Let's put it back in solo with a longer release. Now let's try it with all buttons in. Adjust the mix to blend the direct and the compressed sound. Let's put it back to four. And let's hear it in the track. So the next thing we could do is to compress all the drums as a group with a drum bus. Let's add a new track and name it Drum Bus. Then we'll drag it to the top and make it a folder by hitting this button. Now anything we do to this track will affect everything below it in a group. So let's add the compressor to this track, which will compress all the drums together. Let's try all buttons. And this is a great use of the mix control, where we can over compress the drums, but just use a little mix back in to the direct sound. Let's go back to four to one. Sounds good. Now this could be used on any instrument, whether it be bass, guitar, or vocals. I just really prefer it for drums, so I wanted to show it off for that use. So that's pretty much it. That's the JS1175 compressor in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.